New NASA technology is taking snowpack research to a whole new level. NASA's Airborne Snow Observatory took off on its first flight of the spring snowmelt season, gathering crucial data used for allocating water during the ongoing western drought. About 75 to 80 percent of the water comes from snowmelt. So understanding the snowpack is really, really important. Armed with the latest high-tech instruments, cameras, and lasers, the aircraft can accurately measure things like snow depth from 20,000 feet. How fast does it melt? Where does it melt? How is it accumulated? Until this project, we really have not had spatially complete information. We've had very patchy information. Most of that information used to come from ground snow surveys. Not always accurate and often incomplete, leaving out snow accumulation at high elevations. We can add up how much water there is in the mountain snowpack in the entire basin, whereas in in past years, it's just been what percentage these few locations, about five to six locations, are telling us there is relative to the last 30 years. The flights will run over the California Sierras through the end of spring. Researchers say the technology could someday be used to examine changing snowpacks worldwide to measure the effects of global warming. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Mammoth Lakes, California.